Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of testicular microlithiasis. A 22-year-old male patient came with a previous history of testicular pain and swelling. So hopefully he had the history of acute epididymo ochitis. It happened around 2 to 3 years ago. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the long section of the right testis. You can also see the glimpse of left testis where you can see tiny echogenic foci casting cometal artifacts throughout the parenchyma. On a single field of view, the number is more than 10. So this is a diffuse variety of microlithiasis. This is the left testis, looks quite similar to the right one with diffuse echogenic foci casting cometal artifacts. Without measurement, these testes look quite normal in size. Here we have put color Doppler and you can see normal vascularity of the right testis. If you look at the left one, the vascularity is also normal here. There is minimal collection in the left hemiscrotal sac also. Here is the transverse section and you can compare the echogenicity of both testes here. Both looks almost similar with diffuse microlithiasis. Here is the measurement of the right and left testes. Both are almost similar in size. And here is the color Doppler picture with a comparison and both have almost similar type of vascularity. If you see a case of microlithiasis, check carefully with Doppler if there is any focal area having very unusual good amount of vascularity, then check it carefully to exclude tumor. Here is the transverse section and you can compare the echogenicity as well as size and the amount of microlithiasis from this image. So, in summary, discrete punctate non-shadowing hyperechogenic foci diffusely scattered throughout the testicular parenchyma are seen bilaterally with comet tail artifacts, indicating a case of diffuse testicular microlithiasis. Now the take-home message. If you see a cluster of testicular microlithiasis, then it may represent testicular tumor. Even you may not see it as a soft tissue mass. Using color Doppler may help further. If you see clusters of microliths adjacent to a solid mass, then it suggests a germ cell tumor. We have three different types of testicular microlithiasis, depending on the number per field of view. If you see less than 5 per field of view, then you will call it limited testicular microlithiasis. And if it is around 5 to 10, then you will call it classic type. And if it is more than 10, we call it diffuse testicular microlithiasis. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.